Hey guys, let's get this ball rolling. First off, let's get the YC beams inserted. And onto the four end plates. I read a few comments before purchasing this kit that people had received C beams not tapped. I am pleased to say that all of mine were tapped and screws went in cleanly. Now let's mount the first Y stepper motor. and onto the next Y stepper motor. I noticed here while placing the last bolt in that there was some metal blocking the hole. It looks like it was painted over and missed. I was able to pop it out cleanly by hand and the rest of the install went without a hitch. Now add the corner brackets to the front. This is where I'm going to sway a little bit from the instructions. There are different ways to mount the spoiler board, so I'm giving more Z clearance. The trick here is to decide what your use case is and work based on that. Now let's put the spindle mount on. I'm going to need another mount here due to the sheer weight of the 2.2 kilowatt water cooled spindle. So as I have decided to lay my 20x80s flat on my table and then mount my spoiler board on top of them, I needed a way to mount these that is not included with the kit. I was able to print some relatively strong mounts, linked to the STL file below. This should give enough support once bolted in and the spoiler board screwed on top. Another route would be to order a bunch of these when purchasing. I have placed a link to where you can get these at Bulkman 3D if you want to save on shipping.
And that's almost it for the frame build. Next we move on to the wiring and before the first run checks. I hope you enjoyed this video and again please like and subscribe if you haven't already.